Hello to this week's vlog. Uh, today I will actually be talking about Paul Cantor's 10 uh, episode audio series, uh, Commerce and Culture. Uh, some new information that I really did enjoy, but there were a couple things that he did were kind of my pet peeves right away when presenting the information, and especially with it being audio. So, Paul, this one's for you. And I don't want this whole video to be negative because, Paul, it, it was a great series. I did learn a lot from your videos. Uh, for example, you taught me that uh, last year the uh, video game industry made three times more in revenue than the uh, film industry. And then also the video game industry made seven times more than the music industry. Never would have thought about that or even you know, questioned. I always thought you know, music and film made more. Um, but... In addition, you help clear things up by using a field of dreams quote and differentiating between Marxism and capitalism. That was really, really cool. Learned some brownie points with that one. Uh, and then finally, you gave me a fun fact about Mozart and these other gangster composers that, you know, if they wouldn't get enough people to come to their concerts, they'd take the money anyway and run. So, you know, useful things and things I'm definitely going to share at dinner parties too. <laughs> like I said, you hit my pet peeve. And it doesn't matter what I'm uh, reading or if it's in audio or whether or not I'm watching it in video. You know, whatever kind of content that I'm absor absorbing at that point, if you immediately tell me that you're not qualified to talk to me about what you're already talking to me about, then I don't really want to listen to you. And, and when you start off a 10-episode series, which... All of the episodes are, are an hour and a half long. It, it makes me really question the, your credibility. It makes me wonder if I should be Googling you know, what you're telling me, verifying information, because I don't necessarily know if the person that's standing there and telling me the information is going to be 100% correct. And it's just because you put yourself out there like that. You're obviously intelligent. You've got a PhD in English, and there should be no issue discussing that. So. I don't know uh, what the, if it's a you like a confidence thing, but either way, Paul, you're obviously uh, you know perfect. To talk about that, so let's get that out of there. It reminded me of a time being in a lecture hall and just getting provided an abundance of information, more information that I can handle, but it's not completely organized. And the professor says things to make me doubt him, and I'm wondering why I'm spending my money at this university, and I'm constantly second-guessing myself when I'm, you know, paying for what I thought was an appropriate education. You uh, have a couple times during each episode, uh, like Economics of Modernism, uh, at 11.20 and uh, 56.20. Both times you, you actually said, uh, and uh, people started laughing in the background just because you were kind of trying to catch yourself and uh, obviously, you know, catch your thought. And it... Once again, it's the credibility thing. Once there's people laughing in the background, it doesn't seem like the situation's being taken seriously. And uh, like I said, with 10 episodes at an hour and a half piece, constantly be questioning the information that I'm receiving is a real issue for me because I don't want to have to second guess and go and check uh, the internet, you know, um, just because a qualified individual is supposed to be telling me information off the spot, that's good. Uh, but other than that, Obviously, I, I, you know, I did double check the information and, and all of it was correct. So uh, it, it just really the delivery for me. Um, and also it goes back to, you know, not all of us learn in those environments too well. And I had a situation in that lecture hall, just like I said. So uh, that's really all uh, for today, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around and have a good one.